What up, y'all? It's Chris Weathers, a.k.a. Shorty C94. New show, Reachbacks Volume 1. See if we can get our guest right quick. Our co-host, I should say. QC. Okay. What's up, everybody? Joining. Well, hello. Mm, what up, what up, what up? Ah, tell it, man. What's going on? I feel like you never be right. Like when you set it up, you know, it don't do right. And then when you, when you go on there, then they be like, mm, you know, okay, that works. Yeah. Well, we here. Inaugural episode of Reach Backs. Uh, I'm Shorty C94. I'm Tell QC, Kiki Cutie. Nobody ever gets it right, aka Kiki. <laughs> Show. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, sis. Everybody jumping in. It's lit. All right. So, what I thought we would do, you know, like I told you in the text, you know what I'm saying? We go through our honorable mention and then, you know, count down from 10 to 1. Okay. All right. So, um, what's at the very bottom of your honorable mention list that we'll start with? Okay, I'd probably say, and this is so, you know, this is so hard, like, because, like, mm -hmm. after, like, the look, like, the lowest and the top, they kind of, just kind of all together. I can't really pinpoint it, per se. I'd probably say maybe, uh, I'd probably say these, which I went back to 2018 um, and got the Air Max 180 bacon. So I got these when everybody, when the Air Max 90 bacons came out and everybody was getting them, and I was like, I'm not even gonna try. I'm just, I'm not. So I went different because I love the bacon colorway. So I was like, hmm. And then I found these, and I got these on. I had to make some notes because you know it's so many. I got these on eBay for seventy four dollars. Nice. Dead stock, yeah, dead stock, brand new, OG box. Yeah. So I thought uh, these were pretty dope. Okay. Something different. I call them my vegan bacons because I don't eat bacon. Show. <laughs> <laughs> sure. All right. Well, I'm gonna show you the very bottom of mine. Um, it is these, the okay. Zoom Kobe Four Minneapolis. Now, this was actually a thrifting find. I always wanted these, but I found these at the Durham Rescue Mission Thrift on Durham slash Chapel Hill Service Boulevard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they they were, you know, for me, paying thirty dollars for a shoe at a regular thrift store is a little That's much. A lot. But, That's a lot. You know. Actually. But yeah, I. I Decided to get these. They were a little dirty, and they're actually, you know, pretty yellow since they're from mm -hmm. 2009. But, you know, this is probably uh, one of my best finds of this that's, year. Yeah, I'm about to say, that's, that's pretty good for the regular thrift store. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, 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 y'all. What's up, everybody? All right. So, you want to go through your next? Um... I'd probably say working up. We'll go. We'll go here. We'll go here. Um. Not that. Oh gosh. Not going back too far. This is 2019. This is the Air Suits 2. Um, and I put okay. these in honorable mention because it's something different, you know. And me being a female hooper, you know, I had to show love to the swoops. And I just thought these were so dope with that floral pattern on them. I think it's pretty cool. So, yeah, sure. those, those are pretty dope. I got these on eBay for 64.99. So, you know, you know how we do. Okay. You know do. And shout out to my girl Thrifty Sneakerhead. I got my sweatshirt on. This is one of the first apparel things I started buying when I got on IG, and it fits me to a T because I'm super thrifty, aka I'm cheap. One of them. And then she just joined in. What a coincidence that Thrifty Sneakerhead just joined in as I'm showing her sweatshirt. What are the odds? Go check out her merch. Day one. <laughs> yeah, go check out her merch. She does custom colorways if you want a custom color. I'm in the red and green because it's Christmas, so you know, yeah. Little plug there. For sure. For sure. All right. Now, this next one I'm about to show, it's a pack. I got them both this year um, at different times, but they're kind of like tied. So um, I had to have some Converse in here. So of these course. Of ER course. Got to have some Converse. <laughs> 260. I got these on Poshmark for like $50. It's very hard to find any sizes in this shoe beyond the size 10. We got these right now at, at the store, but we only got like little sizes. So if it's still there tomorrow, because I work from nine to two, I'm going to send you Me? a picture. 
Hey. I'm about to say, me for me, my size? <laughs> yeah. And, you like, know, we got the current sale going where it's an additional 40% off. So. I need to come. I need to come tomorrow. I got a short day tomorrow, too. So I need to come for real, for real. All right. Well, I'm there from 9 to 2. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. I, I should. Yeah, because I think my client just texted me right when we got on that I might be able to push him a little bit earlier. So that'd be even better. Because I told you I need to come get some um, just regular chucks. Uh, to work on it, but yeah, if they still got them, hook me up. All right, so yeah, got these on Poshmark for the fifty, and then um, I ended up paying like forty six dollars for these. Um, one of the other managers went out of town and found these for me. I want to say he was in Miami or something like that. So, um, That's yeah, he, he he hooked it up. So That's I've been wanting forever. These came out first before these, but yeah, I, I had to top both. Oh yeah, I'm, you know I'm coming through. And then you said, like your wife said, you said the magic word that forty percent off. You had me there. <laughs> you had me at that. I I yeah. Um, uh -uh. I think, that was that two two honorable missions. Yeah. Um, these are so clean. I hate to put them as an honorable mention, but you know. I had these on the other day. Mm, um, the um. Air Maestro 2, that Kiss collab, which was back in 2017. The reason why, oh, really? Never called, <laughs> they text me until I'm in the shower or doing something. But <laughs> these were absolute steal. And I, I was kind of like, wait a minute, is this, is this correct? Because they were on eBay for $24.99. And I'm like, this is a kiss. Like, they clearly don't know what they what got. They have, and I'm going to oblige and take this off their hands. <laughs> but this was just like probably one of the best deals I think I got this year was this one for $24.99. Yeah. Like I said, you, you, you killed me with that, with that Hugo Boss, that vintage with the. Yeah. You know. And the Hugo Boss was from the thrift store and the bin for $1.99. Love it. Love it. So, yeah. I well, look, my last honorable mention is a Plato's Closet find. Um, I had an original pair of these, but the bubble finally gave out a couple mm. years ago. I have a new pair of the Air Air Pillar TN. Um, right. These are one of my go-tos. I want to say 12th grade. Um, they're a little different than the original, but I found these at the Plato's Closet by Triangle uh, Mall. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Right behind the mall. Yeah, they, they were like they were eighty five dollars, which again I'm like, damn, eighty five dollars, but they're in the vortex. You know yeah. about the vortex, yeah. so yeah. Like I couldn't find a pair in my size for less than like two fifty, so I'm like, Fuck. yeah, that's about right. Plato, Plato be <sighs> Plato's used to be a little bit cheaper. Now I think that people are getting on to them. Now I'm noticing that they're jacking their prices up. Like every time that I've been in there, and I'm like. Mm, y'all getting hip y'all know what y'all getting now because before those would be more like 25 dollars yeah 30 dollars that would be around that price range for those about a couple of years ago now mm -hmm. it's like why are you 85 dollars 90 um yeah i don't know they have, time. have good stuff but that's what they have time they don't even be having a box yeah that's my thing i'm like how you gonna charge me as much and like i saw some um the one in Briar Creek, I was there a couple of days ago, and they mm -hmm. had some the the chrome phone posits in there, and they were kind of low key beat. They were my size, so I was really eyeballing them, but they were really kind of beat, and they still was trying to charge like ninety dollars. Tell you, man, Briar Creek be taxes, man. I mean, I was like, I can't do it. I can't because I'm gonna have to clean and take the yeah. strings out. I was like, nah, I can't. I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> mm -mm. Man. All right, for those of y'all that don't know, these are our best reachbacks for the whole year. Going forward, each month, we're just going to do, you know, I don't know, uh, maybe top five or top ten for, for month if we have that many. But this is the best of 2021. So we just got through our honorable mentions. If you missed them, check the, the replay. But now we're about to get into the actual top ten, starting with number ten. You know, ladies first, I'm going to let Keandra, you know, show y'all what number ten is, and then I'm going to come after like I said, not necessarily in complete order, except for one. Number one is number one, period. But I, I'll just kind of like, yeah, I'm going to go this way. I'll do it this way. Because they're not really in particular order, but I probably 
I think I'll put this probably at the bottom if I could maybe, but the black grapes, uh, the black grape fives. I had to get these. This was another eBay find. I just actually wore these the other day. Uh, I got these on eBay for, how much did I pay for these? Where's my cheat sheet? $68. $68, OG box, all that, all, you know, the tag, all that. So I thought it was a pretty good pickup. You know, I just got a rep for the QC colorways, so. Or I thought this is a good good reach back and pick up to have my collection because my five collection is kind of low. I don't have that many, so I thought this would be a good addition to get some more fives because I saw people doing that five challenge, and I was like, I only got like four. <laughs> so yeah. there we go. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. All right, so number 10 for me, it's another shoe from my employer. It is the Converse oh, Pack. These are from the uh, Nike did a pack in 2018 where they did a bunch of Nikes and Converse that players wore in the finals. Mm -hmm. And I'm a Lakers fan, so I had to really think about buying this because this is for Kevin McHale. I was going to say, that's a Celtics green. Celtics, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, I love the fast break. So I went ahead and bought them. I got these on GOAT for, I want to say, $65. Nice. Another shoe that I couldn't really find in my size for a good price. And they just popped up on GOAT one day. So worn them once, you know, pretty good. Yeah, they look good. GOAT be low-key, GOAT be low-key having good sales. I've had, I've caught GOAT on some really good sales before. And yeah. it's like, okay, like $60, $75. I think I got my Agassiz on there for like $75. So they low-key, you know, be having some decent sales sometimes. All mm. right. Uh, where am I going to go next? I think I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna go run through my 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 dunks. We're gonna go through the SB dunks. I'll just kind of run through those. Funny thing with the <laughs> with the dunks. One of them, I, well, the two I spoke into existence on your show when you had me on there, and I told you that it was one of my grills that I wanted. I didn't have, and I think maybe the next week I ended up finding them, and I think I messaged you like, I got yeah. them, I got them. So I'm gonna I'll... keep speaking stuff into existence <laughs> because I got them. So we're yeah. gonna take it back. We'll do. I kind of got, I'll do both of them kind of together. So I kind of, we'll take it back to 2015 to the iconic De La Souls. I'll start with the low first. As I said on your show, I really, really wanted these. I got these on eBay for $150, which to me was a good deal, even though that's like on my higher end. $150 for these is really good, especially my size. My size is really hard to find in these. Um, but yeah, so I had the low and the chocolate. And then I also found the high. This one I got on, um, this light is killing me, on Macari. Also for $150. Crazy. Just so happened they were for $150. Um, and I swapped out the laces or whatever. But OG boxes, yeah. Um, this one it came with a shirt, too. So I got a day last old shirt with this one as well. So I thought it was a pretty pretty good deal. But I finally got my day last old. So excited. Nice. All right. so, my next one is going to be um I keep picking the ones that don't have the hang tag. The hang tag is like on the other shoe, but yeah. was another reach. <laughs> oh, back. Yes, the 98. Yes, yes, yes. Olivia oh, Kim. Olivia. I want those. Yeah. My wife has had these since they came out and I've been jealous of her. Like <sighs> you know, I, I should have tried for them, but uh I ended up finding these at Triangle uh, Plato's um, another time, uh, more recent, and they were like eighty bucks. Nice. Not so bad. yeah, it was somewhere I was like, mm. you know, but they had the box and everything, and the paper. So I'm like, oh, all right, oh, let's yeah. do it. that's that's a good deal. Since they had the box and everything, that's a good deal. Cause them a little them go. Yeah, I've been mean, those are on my watch list. Um, like save searches on like eBay and my car and all of that, and I keep watching to try to get them down a little bit lower, but. Yeah, they they on my list. They're definitely on my list. Gotcha. All right, so I'll stay with my dunks, and we'll go back to 2014 with these. And if anybody doesn't know, I collect Black History Month editions, <laughs> so I'm always on the hunt for Black History Month editions. Um, and I'm going to get all of them eventually. I just kind of slowly just been building. So I picked up these SBs, the Black History Month editions. The details on these are so fire um these were where did i get these from ebay 75 dollars that's where i got these from so 
That was a good pickup, I think, for SB. Anytime you can get an SB anything for less than three digits, I think you're winning. So, yeah, that's excited to wear these in February. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, my next one be um, these are a little older. They're actually from um, 1990. The Converse yeah. um, Lakers edition. Um, my wife actually got me these. I forget why, but it wasn't for anything. I think it was some just because type stuff. Because she loves you so much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> but, uh, to pay 160 for these. I've wanted these for a really long time and mm -hmm. uh, find them in my size. You know, I, I had to grab them you and I'm actually to, to work. Yeah, show the hill. Show the hill top of that. My bad. You see the Just, lake. Yeah, you got to show the lake this. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. They don't be knowing what to say when I show up like stuff like this to the job. So <laughs> they're like, wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, it's Converse, but really? That's how you going to do it? <laughs> I got to do something different. All right, I guess I'll go. Uh, before I go to the Jordans, we'll go here. Ouch! Mm, these boxes are gonna kill me. These were a good pickup. Uh, I'm not a huge. Uh, I'm not gonna lie and say I'm not a huge LeBron fan. I don't have many LeBrons. I'll put it like that. Um, but this was a steal. This was one that I liked, and every time I saw it. I, I like the 15. Um, I think they're really comfortable. Um, I just really like them. I got about three or four, I think, of the 15. But I picked up these Hollywoods. Um, and I got these on Macari for $40. Nice. OG yeah, OG box. Excellent condition. So, yeah, I thought that was a pretty good steal. Like I said, I love these. I love this colorway. Um, I thought it was pretty dope. Yeah, I always wanted those. Um, yeah, I like them Hollywoods. But they're pretty expensive when you go like on stock eggs and goat and stuff like that, that colorway. Yeah, the 15 in general, it, it really, you know, like the black and gold pair of those almost made this countdown, but they just got edged out by some other stuff. Because yeah. I regretted not getting them when I was uh, managing for Hibbit, but yeah, I just didn't get them. You know what I mean? And that was when he was still, you know, on the cab. So. Mm hmm. I was like, hey, that's a LeBron. It'll be around. You know, yeah. LeBron, I'm a dozen in Cleveland. So yeah. I jump on it like I should have. But that is a great one there. Everything has been great so far. <laughs> um, so my next one, actually, is almost the same color. It's a little bit different. But these were a um, a lucky find at the Play-Dohs in Greensboro. Um, they had them priced at like $75. And I had a 20% off coupon. So they ended up being like $56. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. They're they're yellowed, but they're not as yellowed as other pairs I've seen. Yeah. Um, and I've just always wanted these. I'm not a big foam guy. I don't I think I've got nine pairs of foams, but um oh, Time out, time out. Pause. I'm not a big foam guy. I only have like nine pairs. That no, no. That's not how that works. Well listen. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying this to sound crazy or anything like that. You know, nine isn't really, I mean. For you. Not for, you. Not for me. I for mean. You. I forgot who I was talking to. You're right. You're right. That's nothing. That's nothing. That, but, yeah, it's just, you know, like, if I'm into a shoe, like, I'm I'm into it. Like, I'm trying to get every color. Like, there's so many foams I passed on, you know, release day. I was doing a release. Yeah. I'm cool. But, yeah. I, you 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 know, you you got, um, I'm trying to get like you with the BHM. I've got some BHMs, but. You know? Yeah, it's crazy. It's getting, it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. Yeah, but it's fun though. I like, I like the details that they do on those. It's, it's pretty cool. It's ridiculous the amount of details they put into them. Um, all right, let's go into some Jordans. We'll head over into the Jordan. Jordan. Um, a lot of my reachbacks for the Jordans were like higher numbers. Um, some of my higher numbers didn't make it, but that spent my goal was to get like 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 like up, like past 15. Um, sure. So a lot of my reachbacks were like older, except for these. I did get the taxis, uh, which I had posted these um, when I got them because when the royalties came back, sometimes when stuff comes, comes out because the royalties were so similar to these and made me be like, you need to get taxis back into your collection. You don't have any, <laughs> just taxis. 
And we don't know when they're going to re-release these. I think I don't think they are now because they did the royalty. So it kind of like nudged me to go back and get these. And I got these on Macari for 105. So OG box and everything. So this is that 2013 release. So not bad. You know, they excellent condition. So I was like, I'll take them. And the crazy part is when I posted these, I posted these with the um, the cool grades. I did like a picture with them together because I kind of got them in, I think, the same day. Amen. And the funny thing is, it just proves that people really do love the classics. Like, I had a couple people comment, like, oh, I like the royalties better. But kid you not, that post has almost 8,000 likes and counting. Like, it's close to 8,000 already, just off of, like, classics. So it lets people know. I'd be like, yo, it's the classics. It's the OG. The royalty is nice. Not knocking it, but it's not just accurate. Nah, it's just sort of like how those Indigo 12 sort of look like the Obsidians, but they're not. not you know what I mean? Obsidian. It's just yeah. not. It's not to say they're not a good shoe. It's just not the OG. It's just, nah. just not. Yeah, like that taxi. It just brings back a lot of bad memories because that was the worst shoe release I've ever ran in my life. Oh, okay, I can understand. Or yeah, in the store, yeah. like with niggas fighting outside of my store and the store across another side of the mall just for spots, just for spots, not even for the shoe. So, but yeah, it's a. I like how you put it together when you at war with the, I think it was with the black colleges thing, uh, hoodie mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hot. yeah. Well, this one is actually an early Christmas gift from the wife. I've been wanting these for a long I time. I told you your wife love you. I told you. She came. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I have a thing with sixes. Um, it's the only Jordan, even more so than the one where I'll look at it, you know, and, and at least consider it like, I had no plans of getting the Bordeaux 6 or even the Hair 6. It's like I got the 7s, but mm -hmm. I at least thought about it for a minute because the 6 is the shoe that started it all for me. So, um, And when these came out in 2014, employees weren't allowed to buy them at the store I was working at. So kind of sucked. But, you know, she did hook me up with it. It's like an early Christmas gift. So thank you, V. Way to go, V. <laughs> During the cut. I keep joking. I'm like, y'all want to adopt an adult, you can. <laughs> um, she already said I got baby feet, so you can treat me as as such since I have baby feet. You'll be buying kid shoes. Just adopt me, you know. Y'all can do that. It'll it'll mm. be fine. It'll work. Um Going with all the heat, man. <laughs> my pockets though, my pockets. You know what I'm saying? I need some extra deepage in the pockets. I think we'll go Yeah, let's let's, let's go here. We'll, we'll we'll go we'll go to the 18s. Like I said, a lot of higher up um, Jordans for me. The Royals, these were in excellent condition. Um, these were, what year were these coming out? Uh, I'm tripping. I can't was remember. It, was it the retro or the OG? This is the retro. 18? A 2018. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I had a brain fart. I was like, what year did these come out? But the thing I love about these, the 18s, a lot of people are really iffy on them, but the suede on these, I, it's still... For this shoe to be, you know, kind of older, it's it is it, real nice. Like I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So yeah, that was a good pickup. I got these on. Oh, I'm lying. These are the 2003 pair. Okay. I'm lying. I so lied. I wrote it in my notes. This is the 2003 pair, um, right. and I got these for seventy nine dollars. Nice, nice. OG box, and of course, and this is how I know it's an older one because it has the old lot of yeah. So, you know, it's all about them eyes looking at you. So I'm tripping. That was uh, the thing that drew me to these. Um, they got y'all the regular box? Yeah, back in the day they used to. Oh, okay. Back in the day we used to get the card, the boxes, and then something happened. Like the transition between we went from the eyes box and then we went to this, a white. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, now the new ones, you know, we get the gold, that, that gold, whatever. But, um, uh, yeah. I didn't realize they gave y'all the face box because, um, you know, the men's 18s have, like, a special box. I know. Like, we don't get special. Yeah, we ain't get the special boxes, but, you know. No, no, no hate. No hate. You know, but no, I love those black 18s. The 18 is my favorite higher-up number, Jordan. It was the last Jordan that I bought every color in. I actually have two pairs of that black and blue one. Mm -hmm. I, uh, we had a pair. It was, like, we had them at, um, it was when I was working for Foot Action, I mean, they got down to like seventy nine ninety nine. Yeah, I had yeah. another pair of them after. I, 
Came yes, and you could do it. I gotta get the black and I'm gonna go ahead and get the black and red ones too. Yeah, um, I never, never had the CDP. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and get those. All right. Um, next for me is another. Um, it's another six uh, that my wife had purchased for me. Um, v V V. This, this was I one of my, my anniversary gifts. Uh, <laughs> These came out on my 37th birthday, uh, 2017. Um, mm -hmm. That specific birthday, my wife had went all out. She she kind of like furnished my man cave and she got me the South Beach LeBron 8. So I forgot all about these. You know what oh. I'm saying? I had so many stars in my eyes. She had got me these British Knights I had wanted. I had ah, yes, DKs, yes. So, you know, um, to be able to get them, because whenever I would find them, they would be cooked. So to have mm -hmm. them shape i have worn them once um i don't really have a lot of unc jordans so you know that that um that's definitely a topic for me nice 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 all right where we at where we at i did those two together so we'll do i'm missing one where, where, what am i missing top now huh we almost we top. what we yeah, at we top have... three four top four where did i not pull it i'm tripping i'm missing a box Oh, there it is. I'm like, I got boxes everywhere. It's kind of hard to have them close to you so you can, like, yeah, you got have them available. Wingets. Nice. Okay. You got to put both of them together for these. <laughs> you no. have to. This was uh, a really dope pickup um, because, you know, they're the Wingets, for one. And two, you know, people hate the twos, um, and I love twos. So it's just me kind of continuing to expand my two collection. You know, I have the Radio Raheem's and the Black History Months, and the Wingers are a classic, and I couldn't believe I didn't have them. Um, I picked these up on eBay. Did I get these from eBay? Where my cheat sheet at? It's so many different places I'd be going. I got to have a cheat sheet. Where, where did I get these from? 15 to y'all did a bad job with my notes Macari $68 OG box and everything for $68 um yeah so I was like yeah get run me those for $68 I, I, I'll take that not not a bad pickup nice. nice and that's 2016 for people that were curious it's not the OG OGs it's the retro yeah right, well my next shoe this was actually a rumors find um couldn't believe they were there i found these at rumors and then i remember you told me about them yeah they were only 18 dollars, man i couldn't believe it and i had to look at all the tagging you know make sure it was authentic but everything you know matched up um because i wasn't a fan of the 700 but i couldn't leave it there for seven for 18 dollars you gotta get them and um you yeah. know last few times i've been off i keep meaning to go back to uh to rumors because i always find something crazy you know when i go but um, uh, Monday is usually a sucky day for thrifting, so that's why I didn't go today. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they've definitely been worn, but just for the price alone, that's why they made the, the cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that price is ridiculous. And ever since you put me on to rumors, I, like, follow them now. I go there every once in a while, but they be taking all my money because now they got it to where if they post something on a story, I can, like, PayPal them and they'll, like, hold it. <laughs> So I'm like, oh, give me that. I want that. I want that. Is it still available? <laughs> yep. And they just hold it for me in my name. So thanks to you, you know, another place to take my money. Um, no. Let's go with, which one did I get first? I got this pack first. You know, I went on this pack spree, <laughs> which everybody, everybody started seeing. I was just like 2008 going back, you know, to 2008 and getting all the packs because they came out when I was working at Foot Locker. Mm -hmm. but I was still poor. So even though I had the little job, they still were going for, what, 200 These are like retail for two, I think, if I'm not mistaken, at the time. Wait, well, probably in GS. For us, there was like three. Yeah, they were like two for us. So even then, I was like, well, that's like my whole paycheck. So I don't necessarily want to get these. So these were kind of like real nostalgic because, like I said, I was actually working at Foot Locker at the time. And I'm only going to show just this one because other countdown packs are the same. This box to me is just everything. I love it, love it, love it. Um, when I got the boxes in, I was just like, 
so nostalgic. Absolutely love it. This one is, I think if I'm not mistaken, yeah, this is the 17 and 6 pack. I haven't worn neither one of these. The Carmines I probably will not wear. I don't know if Izzy is in here. Um, but I probably will not wear these because uh, they are fragile. Um, when I took them out, I was looking at them and they kind of getting a little crumbly look to them. So these might just be just for pretties. You know, it is an old shoe. This is 2008. So yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to wear those. The 17s, on the other hand, I'm going to wear those. They look like they're in way better condition. Um, and these were, of course, dead stock. They had never been worn. They just been sitting in a box, but the 17. And the reason, the inspiration for the pack was, of course, the 17, because I didn't have any 17s. So, and it kind of worked out where I got the Carmines and the 17s at the same time. So, nice. yeah, that's that's my, my first little pack kit. Yeah. OG box, crispy paper. The paper has the embossing on it. So, it was just, you know... It's a dope. It was a dope pack. One of them. Yeah, it's one of the few I bought. I only bought like three of them. You know. And it was like, how many was it? How many total was it? I can't even remember. It was. It was eleven. Was it? it was a lot of them. February came out with the twenty-three. Mm. So, all right. Well, my next one is actually a um, a two. Um, yes! Yay, twos. So I came up on these earlier. Oh, geez. Yes. You know, um, I got these at uh, Legacy CLT in Charlotte. My boy Dave, mm -hmm. he um, that's his store. He, you know, gave me a really good uh, price on them. You know, and it was just uh, it's nice to finally have them because I was a yet another shoe place I was working at. Employees couldn't get them, and and they were doing it where you had to get the hat, the jacket, in order to get the shoe. So you yeah. already thousand dollars. You know what I mean? To get everything. It's a yeah, it's, it's a whole thing. So, yeah. yeah they, they're on my list. I'm, I want all of them. I want the all colors. The the blue, the cream, that blush kind of color. Yeah. Um, I want I want all three of them. So I'm on the hunt. You know, that's they're pretty tough to find in a reasonable price. Um, That and then the Vashtis. That's the other two that I'm on the hunt for, which are uh, reasonable. I found a pair on eBay for two thousand dollars, and somebody actually bought them. When wow, whenever I do see those, they're usually fucked up in some sort of way. Bad, yeah. bad, yeah. really bad. I saw another pair. I think on um, oh gosh, what's the other one? What's the other site? Uh, is it like Grailed or something like that? Yeah, Grailed, uh, Depop. It was Depop. It was Depop. I saw a pair on Depop and I got really excited. I was like, oh, Vashti Twos. And it was like $75. But then I was like, okay, these are probably going to be beat for that price. And they were. They had put some different shoelaces in it. The toe was bent up like that. I was like, not the Vashtis. You just, you killed them. You killed them. It wasn't like where it could have been like just some Jason Marcus some crap. Like, nah, okay. Nah. And I'm the queen of that. If I look at that, like, oh, I can just take them two strings out clean them or change them out, you know, iron them creases out. Like, I'll do beat, beat, beat. Gotcha. I was like, yeah, no. So, I got another pack. Like I said, I wanted a pack spree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you. Did I tell you how much I paid for the, that first pack? No. I don't, I don't think I did. That one was, because that was the set. That one was 120. Okay. That one was 120. That pack was 120. This pack was 165. Um, and they were both on eBay. The only reason why they probably charge more for this one is because this one's the three and the 20. So it's got the black cement three, which you know is like everybody, a lot of people's grail. Um, I was really excited because it still had the sale tag on it from Finish Line. Nice. So I haven't worn these yet. Um, these will definitely get worn. So the bl all black 20s, which I think are pretty dope. Like I said, you can see they are fresh, crispy, crispy. Yeah. They went on sale for 130 <laughs> back in the day. Nice. Um, so yeah, this is a clean, 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 clean shoe. I can't wait to wear those. Um, I don't wear all black shoes a lot, so but I'll wear them eventually. And then, of course, the one and only. Black Cement 3, which I like a lot of people's grill. Um, so it was really dope to get both of those. Like I said, I got these incentive for the 20s, basically, because I needed some 20s and then 
got me some cement threes in the in the process. So not a bad pickup. Not a bad pickup. Now are you wear those black cement threes or have you worn them? I wore them. Okay. I had them I posted them actually the other day. Yeah. Yeah. I you know, I wear my kicks. For sure. For I sure. wear them unless it's like them Carmines. There's some I do have a couple pair where it's like I'm pretty sure you got a couple pair too where it's like I can't if I wear these up I'm going to be barefoot in about five steps or either they're just going to completely crumble or explode on me so I got a couple pair like that yeah like with my Carmines from the pack um, I used to wear them a lot more than my pair from 2014 because the yellow end I mean they look like they're from 91 mm -hmm. they're better with certain outfits than the ice and blue mm -hmm. So, yeah. but when we moved, they didn't quite make the move well. So they're still intact, but there's like a small gash. So mm -hmm. I'm what is it? I feel like, is it just, I feel like the Pat Carmons versus just the regular ro retro ones, those are more fragile, the pack ones. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's something they made it with. I don't know, but like the, the gashing and the, they're just, they seem way more fragile to me than the other releases of the Carmine. I don't know if it's just me, but that's just my looking at the Pat Carmine and the other ones, I'm just like, yeah, these are more fragile. They're yeah. way more fragile. It's a difference, but like, I, I think I did a comparison video to them on YouTube and the countdown ones, like at least the mints ones, they're, they're a little bit taller. The red is different. There's so many mm -hmm. little where you're like, man, that really, it was really different. You know what I mean? So, um, nah, you, you're not the only one. It's definitely some fragility to it if that's a word so yeah, yeah. i'm like I, I don't think i'm gonna wear those <laughs> yeah. well number two you know this is something i've really it slipped through my fingers every time it's out and to finally have a pair and most of y'all gonna be like what those but <laughs> the vandal the og Van oh, okay yeah that's the og colorway yeah I, i've wanted these for so long i've never had them and I found them on eBay for, I think these were 60 or $65. So Nice, nice. Uh, the only thing that sucked was, because this is a pair from 2017, they didn't have the Jordan 1 type box. It was mm -hmm. not. So that was the only downside. But other than that, you know, I'm pretty pleased with them. These might get worn once a month in 2022. Yeah, the Vandals are classic. Vandals are classic. I, people just, if you don't know, then they would think, oh, that's a... It's a bobo, but if you know, you know. Basically, that's a classic. It's a classic show. It really is. But you just have to know what it is. If yeah. not, you be like, it look like a knockoff dunk or a knockoff one or mm -hmm. a dad shoe, a dad shoe, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, but you just have to know what it is. Especially that OG colorway. That's that's classic right there. Yeah. All right, we down to number one. Down to number one. Drum roll. This is definitely number one in my collection. Uh, period. Um, number one reach back and the funny thing with this reach back is that I actually bought it on January 1st of 2021 so it's crazy that it's my number one I bought it on January 1 and it has the most meaning of any shoe of this entire collection so yeah it's crazy 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 like when I went back to look I was like did I get these in 2021 and I did January 1st I was laying in the bed that morning at like 6 in the morning and just scrolling and I was like, did I just find the shoe that I've been looking for for years for a hundred and something? Bye, bye, bye. So for one, let's just start with the box because this is a classic Nike box. This is older than some of the people in here. <laughs> um, this is back going, we going back to 19 and 96 for this one. Ooh. Yeah, I had to put the and in there because it's back pretty far. And, of course, it's my Damon Stoudemire's. These are my babies. They have so much sentimental value. Um, I think I told this story a couple of times before when I first got them, you know, for my best friend, God rest her soul. This was the first pair we bought together. So this shoe will always have way more sentimental value than any pair I have in my collection. I have not worn them yet um, just because I haven't had, I guess, the right occasion or mood or I don't know. I started to wear them on her birthday, which was last Sunday. Um, but I just, I didn't wear them. But I'm going to wear these. But classic. It came with, like, the cards still in it. Like I said, they were dead stock. Um, they're still wearable. There's not much yellowing on them. So I was like, yeah, these, these are these are win. The paper is yellow. 
Got your when, old Nike card in there. Nice. Nice. Got the stamp, quality stamp, 1996 in there. Crazy. Ooh. Ooh. Crazy. Yeah, and I only paid uh, $110 for these on eBay. Must be nice. <laughs> um, I, I I love that shoe. I still have it, but it doesn't even look close to as good as your pair looks. I don't have the box. It's yellow. Yeah. I've had them since high school. Yeah. They're really small now, too, because they're an 11, but that's a small running shoe. So it's mm -hmm. really, I don't really ever wear it, but I'm happy that you have that shoe. We've talked yeah. about it before, you and I about how much it means, so it's good to see it again. You know, yes, yes. I, I want to get some more colorways. Um, and then the Jason kids, I got to get them them air flights. I got to, I got to. I, I I found a pair. I think I just haven't pulled the trigger on them, but I think I did find a pair. I think on Poshmark that I'm gonna go ahead and get. The one with just the one eye on the side. The which? Uh, uh the one with the two. Okay. The um, that's what the Zoom flight. Zoom Fly 95, yeah. Yeah, the Zoom yeah. Fly 95. The OG, the white and black with, like, the checkered kind of looking. You know what I'm saying? I don't know you know what you're talking about. Yeah, I found those. <laughs> I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and get them. They look pretty good. OG box. Mm. I'll probably go ahead and get them. So y'all probably see those real soon. <laughs> you know, the black and gray ones like that are about to come back at some point next year. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I might get them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um... I they came out in 2015 around the time the Aquas came out and I just mm -hmm. buy them. I had them at my store, but I need them this time, so I got to get them. Yep, that's my number one. All right, now it's hard to follow that up with. with <laughs> yeah, right. What I have <laughs> very regular. It's just something I, I I've never been able to to get for whatever reason with the way the shoe game is now. But my number one reach back for 2021 is these. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's like, oh, it's real regular. It's, it is. This is a regular shoe. Like That's a lot of people's grail. The shadow is a, it's like a grail for a lot of people. That's their number one top shoe. It's just, you know how it is, though. I mean, as many shoes as you have, I know you feel this way about some shoes where it's just a shoe, like, like you feel like you should have it. Like, like I really should have those. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. And this was the one for me. It's still three ones that I should have that I don't, but... I ended up getting these um, on eBay and maybe October, and they were they're like two forty, which is again that's a lot, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but for the shot, it's, it is, but yeah. for the hype of that shoe, it's kind of reasonable. That's not bad. That's not bad. So, that, but you know what though? I don't have bread ones, so that's something that I feel like I should just have. I don't have in my collection, but it's just like. I should. It's not that I'm like, oh, I love the shoe. It's my grail. It's the, it's just, I just feel like it's a classic that I should just have at least up here in my collection. And I don't. I don't. Figured it have because you ain't want it. I mean, initially, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want it. But now it's like, you know, when you start collecting and you get deeper in your collecting, then, and then reaching back, you be like, you know what? I should have that. Like, there's a lot of Jordans that I didn't have. Where I'm like, okay. Like, Black Cement Threes, I didn't have none until I had to pack. And that's, like I said, a grail for a lot of people. It's a staple for a lot of people in their collection. I just, I never got them. You know, I just, I could have. I just never did. So, I think with the reachbacks for me, it's usually, like, a theme. Or it's just something I feel like is a classic that I just need to have as a collector or a sneakerhead. It's like, okay, you just need to at least have this shoe um, just to kind of, I wouldn't say solidify your collection because it doesn't really, it's your collection. But I just feel like I should have them. But I'll get some eventually. It's not high on my radar, though. It's not high on my list at all. <laughs> well, you know, I'll be on the lookout for you as well, um, for sure. Uh, let me give a shout out to my homie, Jason Lockett Sr., going on sir Good. hey y'all hey y'all they've been i ain't been paying too i kind of been looking i've been looking at the shoes <laughs> just you know everybody else in the comments thanks for being being here um but yeah i, I really um i have to ask you because you know sometimes reach backs just fall into your lap sometimes you go looking for them so going into next year you know because we're going to do this again at the near the end of january what are you actually looking for 
like I'm gonna try to find X Y Z. You know. See. Let's pull up my save searches. That's the easiest way for me to do it. For one, like I said, the Jason Kids is on there. Um, Gary Payton's. The Glove? Um, yep, The Glove. Um, these are just off the top of my head, the ones I'm thinking. Them Jordan 4 Pearls that I keep telling you about uh, that I still keep eluding me. Um, what else? There was some other stuff that I was like... I probably get some more fives. I do want a couple pair of pairs. Oh, I, I don't know why I have a bottom. The green bean fives. I found them. They are in my likes. I just need to go ahead and buy them. And they are for dirt cheap. They are for, let me go to my likes. I don't know why I'm tripping and just having a bottom. I think I keep forgetting about them because I found them and they're actually in really good condition with the OG box and everything. They're on Poshmark. And they are my legs. Oh, that's the Jason Kids. That's on Poshmark too. I need to go ahead and just buy these things. Sixty dollars. I'll probably offer them forty, and I'll probably get them for forty. Um, but yeah, they're OG box. They're in really good condition. The green beans. I used to have them, and they got beat. So it's just like one of those ones where I want to get back into the collection which I do a lot of that too where I had it growing up and then either my mom threw it away because I beat it up or it got lost between moves or something um that's a lot of my reach backs too but those are on the list um told you I got those saved the Air Max 98s that's on my I got them saved um that price mm, I don't want to pay that price though so that's why they're just in my likes um what else I'm trying to think um i'm still looking for upper numbers so i'll get the black and red 18s um i still need to get 20 one and then i'm going up even higher into the 30s so y'all have to stay tuned Okay. I, I got them already saved. I just got to like, I'm trying to get through this year. I'm trying not to buy nothing for the rest of the month and then start fresh in January. But yeah, I'm going to go up to like 34s, 35s, which are really dope to me. But a lot of people don't rock with them. But I found some exclusive colorways and I'm like, yeah, I got to have those. I, I got to have those. I feel it. I, um, I got up to, I, I didn't get to 2009. And then I don't have 29 or 30. Um, I have the 31 with the 30 bottom that they made for Westbrook with the cement print and the OK. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I have the black and red uh, 32. These were both. I found those at both at uh, Soul Connect, the 31 and the 32 at uh, Soul Connect at Greensboro. They were mm -hmm. like less than $100 a piece. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Here. I always wanted those Westbrooks. So, yeah. It's funny because I feel like with the the higher numbers, like once you get into high 20s and the low 30s, mm -hmm. they're really hard to find. Like, which is weird because they're not that old, but I guess because they're not as hype or popular, I feel like they're not as easy to find as, you know, some of the older ones or, or the brand, of course, the brand new ones. But they're kind of like, and they're really expensive when you do find them. Yeah, I was about to say, they... um Usually, if if I do if I do find them, they're they're more than I'd want to pay. Like um, anything beyond twenty three is I hate to sound like an old head, but it's kind of a novelty beyond twenty three. Yeah, eh, yeah. I'll get them. You know, um, there's a few twenty eights I'd like to have because the one pair I do have, it's not the one with the zipper. It's mm -hmm. the version. Got um, you. But yeah, I mean Westbrook, he he be out there, but I really like. <laughs> so I've gotten most of his shoes as well. I can't. I cannot wang with Westbrook. I can't. What? I can't. It, it's like as a player, I can't knock him. I can't take nothing away from his skill. But I just do not like Westbrook. I can't. I and I yeah. Uh -uh. I can't. It's cool. I mean, I, I like him. I guess he plays angry. He's really aggressive. Aggressive, which is good on the court. I mean, that's good, but it's not even, like, on the court. It's just, like, 
I think you said it best. He's just out there. Like, he just... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm on. That's a big kick of mine was going up higher, just because people don't fool with higher up numbers in Jordans, uh, which kind of got me away from the ones and stuff like that because that's what everybody buys and what everybody wears. So I decided, you know what, I, I need to go and get some of these higher up numbers that I had, you know, back in the day. But I literally was beating them because I was wearing them and playing basketball in them and playing outside in them so getting some of those it, it's been a big a big thing for me is getting those higher up numbers because everybody has what one through 13 one through 14 at least mm -hmm. so i just it's a new challenge i just kind of try to challenge myself with my collection in different ways um just to be different basically and i, I like og yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm a fan of an og I, I was having a conversation in the comments with somebody and it was about the taxis and they were saying how they think the royalties are better. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. You can think that. But I'm just an OG colorway, OG release. I don't even like newer releases compared to OG releases. I'd rather take my time and find a 2003 pair. You know what I mean? That's in excellent condition than the new release. Just because the character is different, the way they make it, the features, the coloring, all of that is different versus the new one. Like just when we were talking about the Carmines, just seeing the transition between how each one looks a little different. The red is a little different. You know, the bottom is a little bit, be a different tint to the, the icing. So yeah, I, I'm just the OG girl. I, I like classics. I like the old, cause it's nostalgic to me as well. So I like the old, I like the old stuff. I just, I do. I feel it, I feel it. Um, I don't know if this happened to you and I don't ever want it to if it hasn't happened, but sometimes man, that comes back to bite you in the in the back a little bit like for instance i forget i saw somebody and i was like man i'm gonna wear i'm gonna wear my my ginger 16s you know what i mean oh, and <laughs> really, i know i'm gonna sound crazy to viewers we have have left and you but like the 16 man it's 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 great to me it's it's still one of the worst air jordans ever made <laughs> because it doesn't look like jordan without the shroud it only looks like an Air Jordan to me with the shroud. Without the shroud, it looks like a really nice Team Jordan. That might be one. It thing. does look kind of Team Jordan. -y. I can agree with you on it. I can agree with you on it. Especially the cherry wood and the ginger, you know, because the upper is different. Yeah, and you those know? are my two favorite ones. You know, I got the cherry woods that they almost made. Only reason I didn't make it is because I just didn't have enough time. But they were out because I love the cherry wood and the ginger. Those are my two favorite sixteens. But they, even with the five line midsole, they still have started to crumble to the point mm -hmm. where I'm, I was going to wear these without the shroud and I hate 16s without the shroud but yeah like my white and blue ones are still kind of okay even though I really want a retro pair of those I didn't buy them in 2016 because I was against them being $250 yes. but um and then they only made them for us I don't think they made them for y'all they didn't no but, <laughs> yeah I, I really feel like they make them higher Jordans higher prices they figure we more established now and it's like oh well you oh, want to yeah, and then you, <laughs> you want to be like it. thousands, Nick, you know. So. Yeah, you can afford it. But yeah, no, my, my cherry, my cherry was doing the same thing. They're, yeah. they're crumbly. They're crumbling a little bit. So I probably, I wore them once. And foolishly, I don't know what I was thinking. I wore them at the sneaker exhibit, but it would, which wouldn't have been bad. But we walked from where the meet and greet was to the hotel. I walked like a couple of miles in them. Bad idea bad idea now they were dead stock never been worn, you know never been worn but i noticed when i took them off i could see you know right where the little ridgy part is i was like "Ooh, you look like you about to start crumbling on me a little bit so i just gently put them back in the box and just like okay we're just gonna let y'all cool off <laughs> yeah i'm gonna tell you with mine with the cherry woods you know the little plate where it says jordan near the forefoot mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's cracked and fell off and i'm mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man. Come on. Mm, yeah, I didn't they, even picture it yet. You know what I mean? Like, uh, they fragile, as they say, fragile. They, they, yeah. They're very fragile. But I love them. I absolutely yeah, love them. I've got older Jordans that, like, most of my OG 14s are, um, like, I can still wear my Ginger 14s, but you figure the 16 is newer. It should be okay. It'd be okay. No. My 14s are, um, they are, I'm sad. 
because they just they died on me um and i probably can get them fixed but you see that big old crack right there uh so i'm real sad uh so i don't know if i just need to do a swap or just buy a whole nother pair uh, i'm gonna keep these of course but yeah that's the pair of like filling up you yeah. said what that's the pair of most six with the ribbing on it yeah I'm so sad. I was I was very hurt when I looked down because it felt funny. I was like, and I looked down. I was like, no, they're cracking. <laughs> so yes, it has bit me in the butt. Yes, to answer your question, yes. It has. I was about the green beans are allegedly coming back too. That's why I was like, man, you might as well just just. No, nah, okay. I'm gonna get the OG pair. I'm gonna get that pair for forty dollars. Okay. okay, that's an OG pair, and then it, it, depending on how. Cause like I said, with the new releases, it just depends on how it looks and the quality. If if I want it, there are some new releases that if they release it, I would get it because I need it. And because they're so old, and you can't find a pair that's not going to be yellow, completely yellowed or crumble. Which I don't mind yellowing. I don't mind yellowing at all. To me, yellowing is character. Um, so a lot of people are like, mm, "It's yellowing at the bottom. The ice ain't ice no more." It's yellow. That's character. That means that you, that's a legit shoe. You've had it for a while. So that doesn't really bother me at all. Like, the icing on these, these are starting to yellow, which I don't care. Doesn't It does not really bother me. As long as the shoe itself is nice, that don't bother me. And if, if it's an ice bottom, you got to know. It's going to turn. It is not going to stay <laughs> icy. Just, just know. It's not going to stay that way. With that though, I feel like some pairs yellow faster than others because, like, them 70 true. and you breathe on them bitches wrong and they yellow. <laughs> true, that's I, very true. I had to get rid of them when we left Cleveland, you know. Um, shout out to my boy William. Um, yeah, I couldn't even keep them because they're only yellow, like, it was yellow for me driving in them. And the mm. time had a beige interior, so it was like mm. it, yellowing, you know. So, yeah, I, I, yeah. I told my boy for $100, I'm like, man, just. Let's take them. Take them. <laughs> but yeah, this, this was this was dope. Like I has a couple other honorable mentions, like oh the foam posits. I had these over here. Which the speaking of that icy bottom, as you can see, it's it's starting to get not icy. Which I, I it doesn't bother me. It does not bother me at all. I don't mind the yellow one either. I don't I don't mind it either. Like, you know, and I wore my Oregon foams a little while back. Dude was like, man, I'm showing it. This shit's just yellow. You need to get them iced. And I, I was like, man, I'd rather just get a whole other pair and have that pair too. Yeah. Right. That's how I, I'm going to keep my crackling uh, yellowed pair. I still keep them. Even though I never wear them, I still keep them. It's like a collector's item at that point. But I do see now where they can re-ice it. Mm -hmm. I'm just not interested. I mean, I don't know. I'd rather just have a whole other pair. <laughs> I know it's graceful, uh, kind of excessive, but no, it's not. It's really not though. It's it's your collector, so it's you know if you can have, which I'm pretty sure you have multiple years, like the OG, the, you know, the first retro, the second retro. It's just kind of cool to have all of them and kind of have them in collection and collect and then kind of compare because they're always a little different. They're never ever the same ever, uh, which I think is why I might like this cool gray. Because it's probably the most similar. I think we've got to the OG, if I'm correct. If if I'm thinking correctly, it's yeah. probably like the most, the closest we had to the OG. Because when I picked it up, it just made me go, oh. And then it hit me like, this looks like the OG, OG pair. That's probably why you like these. And yeah. at first, I was a little bit like, mm, I don't know. When I hit on them, I was like, we'll see what I get them in if I keep them or not. I was really on the fence about them because like i said i'm an og type of girl so but they 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 look they look pretty good they hit they hit because they look like the ogs okay so as we go into 2021 what's one shoe that will be a reach back that you're not leaving 2021 without or 2022 i'm sorry without mm. I'll Shattered backboard. I'm gonna have them bitches by this time next year. That's care. on my list too. That's I don't on my list. Um, at least you I got the satin one, huh? At least you got the option of the satin one. Yeah, which they're nice. Um, they cost more. Um, but yeah, they're on. Those are on my list. 
yeah, the satin back, the, the satin ones are up there. Um, but those are on my list. I've started actually looking for those the past couple weeks for the, and I want, I want the ones, um, the, but I don't know if I'm going to get them though, because they're so expensive. I mean, I'm looking, I'll just keep looking and I might stumble across them, but they're so expensive right now. Like I just, I don't know. I don't know, but they are on my list. I'd probably say the Jason kids for sure. Um, and I'm gonna get them Jordan Four Pearls. I've been talking about them for send me a picture. A couple years. Send me a picture. Yeah. yeah, let me let me let me send you a picture while I'm thinking about it because I got them saved. I know everywhere pretty much. But like I said, it was a a a grade school exclusive, which was kind of cool. I like when we get exclusives. I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can turn this. Mm. Oh, almost. Oh, okay. I so the, the whole shoe is like iridescent. Okay. And it's a four. Um, very. It was the 30th anniversary edition. Um, I wanted them when they originally came out, but for some reason I wasn't able to get them. And I don't know why, because I should have been able to get them. I think I was still broke. That might have been it. I don't know. But they eluded me some kind of way, but I've never worn them because they're so different. I've just, I've never seen anybody wear a pair of them. I've never seen them on foot ever. I see pictures of them. I know they released, but I've never seen anybody on their foot. And that makes me want it even more because I've never seen nobody wearing them. Yeah. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, yeah. Sh sh there was a pair of shattered backboards on goat in my size for $400, but the, the heel drag was just too much. It was just too much. And the, the orange was faded in the back. I'm like, man, I just. I'm just can't. curious now. Let's see how much they are in my size, like on StockX. They, I just, I can't. Like, I'm so cheap. That's part of my problem. I feel like, but I always tell people too, the reason why I have so many shoes is because I'm thrifty. If I wasn't, then I don't think I would have. I'm not rich. Um, We're the same exact way. <laughs> You know. I'm far from rich, so there's no way. Like I'm, I honestly am amazed, and I don't be trying to like be in people's pockets or count their money, but I'm amazed at how people are able to afford every release that comes out. I'm like, wh where do you work at, and are they hiring? Because clearly, either your credit cards are ran all the way up to the max, or you just got that paper. Because the prices now are even more than they were back in the day. So you dropping two hundred a shoe. And you're getting at least, what, two to three a week, is it like, now, pretty much? Yeah. And I'm like, what? How? I can't afford it. I, mm -mm. I feel it. I feel it. I mean, we, we've been blessed here, but I've often thought of that in other people, too. Like, damn, I just got two. And I'm like, hmm, should I have really gotten two? And, you know, I see somebody get, get all of them. All of them. I like, can't. I, my one friend got the Belugas, the Ones. Um, mm. both Bray Rats, uh, New mm. Balance came out. I don't know if he got the LeBrons, but I had to really think about those ones before I, you know, fortunately I was able to hit, but I had oh, to like, hit? about it. Yeah, I hit on the, the ones. Uh, okay. On but okay, I, okay. I was, and you know, I, I know that my shit is starting to be wrong, so I'm really trying to pull back, which is why I was like, man, should we really even do this show? Should I even ask her if she wants to do this? But yeah. I have to get back to my, because I'm the same way. Like, I wouldn't have all of these shoes if I wasn't thrifty. Instead of spending 300 for one pair, I could get like 10 for $300. Exactly. You know, exactly. Exactly. I, $300, I could go hog wild in the right play those at the right time. <laughs> right. Give me, let me scroll good and have a good day of scrolling. It's a wrap. Yeah. Like, it's you a wrap. Like, mm -mm -mm. One reason, because again, I, I, I appreciate the love you show online. So I wanted to say that because. Like, on Facebook and the groups, man, niggas do not fuck with me when I wear the Converse, man. They're like, man, where the Jays at? Where did this, where did that, you know? And I'm like, you know, some people, I don't feel the need to explain myself to nobody, but some people know it's like, mm -hmm. well, you know, I don't even tell them I work at a Converse store. I just say I work for Converse. You know, which yeah. you, you know, but. Yeah. Uh, the and that's diversity. Like, to me, I, 
this is just I can only speak for me. I can't mm -hmm. speak for nobody else. As somebody that worked in shoe stores for many, many years as well, mm -hmm. um, I respect or I admire, I wouldn't say respect, but I admire sneakerheads that have a vast variety of different things, not just Jordans. So if your collection has British Knights, which that's dope, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, that's the kind of stuff where I'm like, ooh, that's cool. Jordans don't do it for me. I, it, they just don't. I have them. They're dope. We're always going to buy them. Yeah. It is what it is. But that's not the shoe that makes me go, oh, those are fire. What makes me go is if you got something different. So if you bring out, you know, some Converse that's dope, that's, you know, from back in the day, that to me, that's more dope than a Jordan 1 shadow. I mean, I'm going to be more impressed with that. That's just me. That's just me. I can only speak for me. I can only speak for me. That's why I love Reach Back so much. Um, and even different brands. When I see a dope Puma or, you know, a dope Saucony or a dope New Balance or a dope whatever, something that's not Jordan or Nike, which is the majority of all of our collections because they put out more shoes, but they just don't, you know, it's probably I don't have any bread ones in my collection. Now, I do have to ask you this before we go. Now, I've, I've seen you on Facebook and Instagram. We followed each other for a little while. I'm sure you have them, but do you, do you fuck with forces? Yes, I have okay. some. I don't have many. Okay. Um, I just posted them plaid ones. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have like seven pair of forces. I don't have regular forces. I don't have any all white or all black, though. I have, like, three of them are Black History Month editions. Actually, four of them are Black History Month editions. Um, and then the plaid joints. And then the shadow. I got, like, a shadow, Air Force shadow. Like, the little cutesy one. But, yeah, that's... I, wish, I don't have any regular ones, though. I wish Air Force Shadows were made for men. Yeah, I like them. I actually like them. They're pretty cool. But, yes, I do have Air Forces. <laughs> no, I, Just not the right. I do not. I don't own a pair of all-white. I haven't had an all pair of all-white Air Forces since high school. Okay. That's the last time I had. And, you know, you beat them and you just throw them away. Like, I ran through them then. Like, they were a staple in high school. I always had a pair. But... I don't even think I had any college. I might have had a beater pair in college. But I think even when I worked at Foot Locker in college, I don't think I bought any more after that. But I know that's like another staple for a lot of people. But nah. I love forces, but they have to be colored. I mean, I do have a pair of white on whites that I just got from, believe it or not, I got them from the Goodwill here in Mebby. Uh, uh -huh. I, I got them mainly because they, they, a dude must have dropped off. It was like seven or eight pairs of white on whites in the goodwill it was like one mid and like six lows so i picked yeah. up, i picked a pair from last year and they weren't really fucked up the bottom was just a little dirty and i got them just to you know because i got to do a crap thing since i'm a part gotcha gotcha so um i actually got to edit that and post that after after this but um you know they were fourteen ninety nine. I'm like, all right, I can live with fourteen ninety nine for yeah, a uh, uh, Air Force One. But usually they have to be uh, colored in some kind of way, you know, for me to be uh, interested. You know, and I definitely can't do the all black. I ain't trying to rob nobody. So you know, now I do have a pair of all blacks, but they're from like oh seven leathers completely. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't think I'm trying to think if I ever bought. I don't think I ever had a pair of all blacks. Yeah. I always had the white on whites, but I don't think I ever owned. A yeah. pair of all black forces. I had the all black Farachis. Yeah, I, I, I but see. I never, I never did the. Yeah. Which I still have a pair of all black Farachis that I never wear, but they over there. But yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I never had a pair of all black. Probably yeah. never will. I think everybody has a pair of black Farachis somewhere. Yeah, that's like a that's definitely and all white. I have all white. And I can't tell you last time I wore them all white Farachis, but they still crispy too. They just stay in the box. I, I'll wear them eventually some at some point, but. I tried uh -huh. to be fancy and get the the white, the ostrich white hirachis with like the gun. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wore them for our engagement pictures. I don't think I've worn them since those engagement pictures, and that was like 2016 or 17. It was it was a while back, but I still gotta have them. I can't let them go just because. Yeah, you know. yeah. I have a whole stack of hirachis that I'm I'm not gonna let them go. I just don't wear them anymore. Like I even had some of the older hirachis, like. Um, 
back behind me, like really, really, really old. Like these are so old, it's ridiculous. But I'll never get rid of them. I could probably just clean them up. That air trainer Hirachi, you know, with the strap and stuff. And the box. Ooh, that's like early two thousands right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I just need to clean them up. Definitely still wearable, for sure, for sure. I just haven't cleaned them up or wearing, but yeah, you got the old beat up Nike box. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. We all got some of them. For sure. Um, one last thing I was going to say is crazy about Hirachis is when Hirachis were just new shoes back in the 90s, the flight Hirachi, the Pippin was like the most popular. In the early 2000s, the trainer that you just had your mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now for the last eight years has been the run. So I wonder yep. if it's ever going to come back around to the flight Hirachi, the Pippin. So I want the flight. I don't have, actually don't have any flights and I want a pair. That's actually on my list. I'm glad you said that because that is on my my save watch list is I want a pair. Um, and I think after I got those Air Maestro 2s, that like re made me be like, oh, got you, it. you need those. You need those <laughs> in your collection. What are you doing? So I put those on the saved as well. So those will be 2022. Those, I will have those still. Yeah. So for 2022, I'm going to look for more vintage. Um, I have a lot of vintage now. I just don't wear shoe wise, but I'm going to try to work that in between that and just wearing other brands beyond Nike and Converse. That's my goal. Um, but the shattered backboard. Um, I'm always looking for random Nike IDs that aren't too personal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, just for the weird colors. Yeah, just weird colors because to me, I almost mm -hmm. have a sample. So, yeah, I was about to say, I love samples, the IDs, all those because you ain't going to see them. Yeah. You're not going to see them. I love it. So, but I really, really appreciate you agreeing. So, us doing this once a month, you know what I mean? This is fun. It's so much fun. Absolutely, man. I had a pile of shoes here in this dining room. Me too. It's just shoes everywhere. Shoes everywhere. I'm probably not. I don't know if I'm going to put them up tonight. Or I'll put them up tonight because I just got my shoe room back organized. Mm. I had boxes sitting just like in front of it. And I took probably about 20 pair or so to donate because they were just sitting there. And I had them for sale. And I was like, you know what? Forget it. I just need them out of the way. So I just gave them away because... I was like, whatever. So that gave me a whole nother rack with some space. I was able to finally put those shoes up, but I I, I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm running out of space and I don't I don't know. It's making me itch because <laughs> I I don't know. I, I'm I have a whole room. I don't know what else to do. But I don't know. I'm with you. I'm with you. I really you know I really don't have enough space. Anymore. I don't. I was like I told my mom. I was like I need a bigger house. I just need a bigger house. Like. I need a bigger shoe room, um, and which I still haven't counted. Uh, somebody just asked me that the other day. I was like, no, I still haven't counted. I just, I don't have the patience to sit here and count, but it's a lot. I don't know. <laughs> I, tell people, I tell people, I'm like, I know certain collections within the collection, or I can ballpark it, but yeah, I don't, I don't know the full. Uh, I think I'm over 300. That's, I usually say that. I think it's over 300. That's about as best as I can give you. I, it, I don't know. It's definitely over 300. I just don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. I don't know. And growing, you know, as we do reach back. And, and, but see, a lot of my collection, too, with what I do for a living, with me being a personal trainer, I have a lot of, like, just workout Nikes. And I have, like, probably 15 pairs of NMDs because they're so comfortable that, you know, I wear in different trainers and epic runs and flooded like, like epic reacts all that yeah i got like five pairs of those but you get those at the nike outlet you know for like really cheap so uh. that's probably about two racks is just really like workout sneakers that you know i wear to work in and work out but yeah it's getting crazy in here getting crazy but i'm looking forward to expanding and you're more a, you're a so you're like a women's seven Mm -hmm. seven seven and a half um i think my foot has shrunk um uh, with certain shoes because i can do a five so i'm really between a five and a six in kids um a six and a half to seven and a half in women it's a weird just depends on the cut and the make of the shoe but yes yeah, it's, it's kind of but i'm noticing i can do like with some of the wider jordans like fives and sixes and i can do a five in those um and it fits if it's longer it's a wider you know, silhouette 
Jordan type or something like that. But yeah. So yeah, I'll probably um definitely try to make it out there tomorrow. All right, now for I'm that sale. If you if you come, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to see if I can find some stuff for you because I am the at least one of the opening managers. It's not a lot of classics in your size, but the forty percent off, I should have had something for you. You know what I mean in there, but like you want it black and white or like white. Oh, they probably gone. I already know. It don't have to be that. It don't have to be the OG because I already know the kids now. That's they're in. They love the white and the black. I, I know y'all stay out of stock on those. I've never seen Converse sell like this at any shoe store I've worked at, ran, whatever. It's it's crazy. It's like it's the, it's like going through this. Like you said, it's that perpetual type. It's just circling back. And right now, the Converse, the white with the red and blue, like the classic colorways are just circling back. That I, I'm noticing that, like a lot of the, that's happening. But they love Converse. I don't know, like the little 60 year old white girls. Yeah. That, I mean, love them. Is that, you know? They love them and they um, will beat them. They, I mean, they wear them so they are absolutely beat. Yeah. Yeah. Like, because I'm in a, a quest right now to wear all of my. My Christmas shoes. I've gotten too too lazy to just change my clothes and put on a whole nother outfit to to go to work. So if you see me, you know I'm, you're gonna see what's different. You come into stores like, nigga, why are you? You know what what? That's not you know. But I gotta wear all these Christmas shoes. I gotta justify having them. I'm so doing the same thing right now, so it's not just me. I be so cheesy. Like I had on my Air Max 95 Christmas today. Mm. Cause I'm like, well, it's the week of Christmas. Time to start getting them out. Yep. <laughs> so I'm like. And the ones you had on today, I, th I, those are on my list. Oh, the shacks? Mm -hmm. Okay. I actually have them saved a couple places. Um, I was going to buy them last week, but I was like, just wait and have them on ISO next year because you're not going to get them before. You know, but I, and I have enough to wear this week. Um, but yeah, I also collect Christmas editions as well. <laughs> Another random, random collection. So when I saw you had those on today, I was like, I was just looking at those last night. Yeah. Yeah. See, so I'm in North Carolina. I'm at Converse, man. I ain't even in Cleveland no more. Um, <laughs> but, all right. Well, I do have one Converse left for Christmas. It's like a Grinch. It's like a Dr. Seuss thing, but I ain't gonna wear them until actual New Year's Eve. I mean, Christmas Eve since I have to work. But, um, you know. I was looking at those, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can talk about that on the phone. I'm Dr. Seuss. Yeah, because yeah, I saw them, and I was like, I want them. I saw about three or four different pairs of Converse. Y'all y'all make quite a few, or they, not y'all, yeah. you make, but yeah. quite a few good Christmas um, edition ones that I saw. I was like, okay. And then I told you about them Reeboks that I want, that I'm going to get. I'm just going to wait till after Christmas, but I'm going to have them. That, I have to have those. They People are going to look at them and be like, what? Until I wear them. But yeah, I got, they had like all the fur on them, like the grit. I got to have them. It's, I can't wait. I can't wait. I gotta have them. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm going to pull out as much Christmas stuff as I can before. I'm probably end up wearing some after Christmas, too. But, um, but yeah, I, I just I really appreciate the way you put everything together. And I, try. I, try. I feel like our styles are very, very similar. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're like, like a male version of me. I also saw you have the blazers. I have those as well, too. Yeah. Christmas I love those. Those so the first. Yeah, that might actually be tomorrow. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. So, a little something. But, like, these Christmas shoes, I only wear during Christmas, so it's like I have to wear them. Yeah, I mean, you have to. That's the only time you can wear them. So, I'm getting them off all week. Like, tomorrow, I'll probably wear them Christmas Roshis. I think your wife had her uh, Red Yeti ones on. I got the blue ones. I'll probably wear those tomorrow because I got to work. Yeah. And then probably another one of my Air Maxes because I got to work. And then Thursday and Friday, I can probably get into, like, my blazers and stuff like that and, and kind of play with my forces and stuff. But... I'm getting them off this week, y'all. I'm getting these Christmas shoes off. <laughs> I feel it. Now, I do want to say, don't look at me different. I'm ashamed. I don't think I own any Black History Month Air Force Ones. I can't believe it. I don't think I do. That's not surprising, though. Because they're oh. really, for some reason, as I started looking for them, they're, like, really rare. I, I don't know. When they release, they did, they're, like, you know, they always release them in, like, the packs. So you'll get three of something. It might be a Jordan. It might be some type of Nike and something else, but they always do them in like packs. And I don't know if they just didn't make a lot of them or when they released or, but they just, I, I don't see many people with a lot of black history. And there took me a while to find 
the ones that I do have. Like I said, I think I have like four pair because I got both the quality. I do have black Air Forces, but technically not because they got a quality on them. Yeah. Nah, I feel that's about as close as I'm going to get to a black Air Force one. Yeah. So when I think about it, BHM, I got the Jordan ones from 2013, the all 3M one. Mm -hmm. But the majority of them are just player shoes, KDs, LeBron, mm -hmm. Kobe. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't have any of the Chucks yet. I just have the Converse Pro Leather BHM. Them Chucks are hard. You gotta get some Black History Month Chucks. You have to. Yeah. They hard. You Jordan. have to. I have, you have to. Yeah. Yeah, I do. You have to because you can wear them to work and stuff. But yeah. you, I have what three pair of them? Yeah, I gotta. I gotta step it up. They hard. That that the com honest, honestly, the Black History Month Converse. I was very surprised by those chucks, but I love them. They are so nice. Like they did a really good job on those. Um, and it's a seventy, so it's gonna be comfy. So. Yeah, they're pretty comfortable. They're not bad with comfort, as I wore them, all of them. So, but yeah, the Black History Month, the Air Forces are are tough. The Jordans are are tough. Some of the Jordans that I'm trying to find because they're like the ones, the white and black ones that have a quality on the back. They are super duper duper rare. Yeah. And I think that once you do find them, you're going to pay a stack, which I can't do. So there are certain ones that I'll just, the Spizikes, I want the Black History Month Spizikes. Oh, the All Vault? Yeah, they came out with that one I'm talking about. I should have got those Fizzikes instead of the one. That was a part of the pack. Yeah, that was a yeah. part of that pack. So they put them together in that pack, that bolt and that bluish, all those together. Mm -hmm. But I want the Fizzikes. Them Fizzikes are... Oh, I, I need gotta a hoodie. Have they had a hoodie that went with that where his face is like Volk and the sleeves are cement. Like, I need... I don't even think I would wear that with that, but I, I need that hoodie. You gotta have a hoodie. I haven't seen a hoodie. And I have a Black History Month hoodie. I just got the... I got the one that goes with the, um, it's got like the blue and the red and like kind of that colorway. Kind of, it's the co same colorway pack as these. Okay. Because okay. you know, they're always just together. It's always that same color scheme um, with the packs. But I got it. Those Fizzikes is on my list too. I, I got to get those. That's, I've been looking for those for a couple of years. I just can't find my size. Yeah. Well, February is, is going to be good because I, I still got a decent amount. A uh, BHM. I, I ain't quite, you know, I don't know if I'm quite to your level yet, but I, I don't know. I, I might have some, you know what I'm saying? We might have to have a, a BHM off or some, you know. Because, you know, I got one for all 29 days. Yeah, I think I might only have half. Every every day, it will be a Black History Month edition. Every single day. Yeah, I think. Every day. See, right now, the ones I'm looking for, other than the Chucks, I need the, the Black History Month LeBron 9 and 10. Mm -hmm. I need those forces, the phone posit forces that look like a penny. I need them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we had some other forces from that same pack, 2013, where it was an orange pair that was like hyperfuse. And it was. Mm -hmm. I have the brown ones. The yeah, I, I need them too. So that them. Woo, when I say yeah, that's I, probably the best one quality wise. And mm. just oh, uh, you gonna look, go these these right here are. Fire, cause it's got. I didn't realize when I ordered them that it had um the the like the pony hair on the check, but yeah. this was in that same pack because it was all that orange. You know, you had the orange and like brownish colorways, but yeah, these are fire. Quality is like, I don't think mm. if I'm not. I got these from overseas, so I'm not sure if the force released here. It, I know the it did. It, yeah, the star worked at. We, we, cause I know the orange one did. I was too stupid. But I never saw the brown one. Yeah, we we had them at um at next in Cleveland. Okay, I about to say I saw the orange with the lunar. The yeah. Orange. I I saw that one, but I never saw this one. And I ended up ordering this one overseas from like I forgot, like New Zealand or somewhere. It was somewhere random. Oof. Yeah, and that's her shoe room, man. She she a beast. Got everything, man. <laughs> yeah, this is just one. One side. Two. This is two racks right here. It's probably one, two. It's five racks on this wall. And then four on this other wall. Yeah. Yeah. Look. <laughs> he said, wait, is this our shoe room? Yes. Yeah. This, is the, this is the she room. The she room. Man, I thought she was at work. Everybody says that. You know why? Because working at shoe stores, I stack them as if they were in a stock room. Yeah. And I put them 
by like the style like all the air forces are together all of the harachis whatever i try to like and even my my jordans i have them in order like one two three four five six they're like so yeah it's i think it's from working in shoe stores for too long it's just i have to have them organized um and i like this better than the clear containers because i'm cheap yeah um because i have too many shoes to try to do that and i just like the boxes I, I really like the boxes See, the other reason why I, I, I think that I don't have more BHMs is because the All-Star Pack comes right right after it. It's, it's hard, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of, you know, so I usually split February between All-Star and BHM. You yeah. Know, but I'm, I'm going. I'm trying to think that the latest, did they do one last year? I don't think so. I don't think they did a Black History Month last year. I'm pretty sure they didn't. I think um, that last one was 2020 with the... Uh, I think it was 2020, yeah. And it was just, I think it was just the converse. I think it was just the pro leather and that chuck with the patches that you got. Mm -hmm. Which I got the pat. Yep, I got that one. But yeah, I, I'm hoping this year maybe coming up. I haven't looked to see if they're going to do any, but I hope so. But it's still so many ones I got to go back and get. I ain't even too pressed on it because there's still so many I don't have. Like, I don't have any of the bolt and blue. None of those. None of, and nothing in that pack. Mm -hmm. at all um there's a harachi that i want um they did a black history month harachi i gotta have it brown? um huh like was it did it have brown on it and look it's the one that's the smoke gray so smoke gray and then it's got kind of looks like a tribal pattern kind of sort of looking yeah that one um i got about three two or three lebron black history month couple kds yeah yeah i don't have i don't have I just found, I didn't realize that there was a crazy eight Black History Month edition. Mm, yeah. I did not know, and I found it. And now I'm on the relentless hunt, because you know that's the only Kobe I really rock with, is the crazy eights. I can't. That's actually the only Kobe's I have in my collection. <clears throat> okay. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's like, because... And I know how y'all feel. My brother's the same way. I, his shoes are ugly. I just, they're ugly. They're yeah. all ugly. Because <laughs> I rock I'm with sorry. you. I'm not going to hold I'm sorry. You know, I ain't even going to hold I'm you. sorry. They, they just, they, they're, I, I'm, I'm sorry. No, but I'm sorry. The crazy, the crazy eights, I, I rock with those. I can rock with those, but I don't know. I keep looking at Kobe's. I'm like, I feel like I need to get more just because, you know, sentimental value, you know. But we'll see. I'm just not a Kobe. I know y'all love Kobe in that household. Um, like the Grinches, I'll probably never have them. Nah, don't say that. You will. I can't pay them prices. Nah, we'll, I can't pay them prices. We'll, we'll find you a pair. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way. It's going to have to be the only way I'll get them, I would a hundred dollars or less i'm not paying more than that because i don't even like kobe so i'm definitely not paying three digits for a shoe i don't really like that i'm just buying to have in the collection i will say i have started looking at them more okay well not nah, I, I start looking at them more you know certain you know a certain certain shoes i don't like everybody likes so it's all good that's what makes you use them so but the crazy eights i can rock with them all day every day got about two, three, four pair of them. And then I'm going to get them Black History Month editions, but <laughs> I can rock with them. That's about it. I love Kobe. I love them. <laughs> but a lot of, I think, too, I meant to say this with the, what I'm looking for a lot of, I think, for 2022 is a lot of the 90s basketball shoes. Okay. I can tell that's my new wave right now. Um. So, yeah. The Air Flights will probably be there first, the Pippins, but I, I, I definitely think I'm gonna get more of those back in the collection. Um okay. for sure, for sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna look out for you too, you know what I'm saying? See what I see as well, you know. Please do, please do. All right. Also, one last thing before we go. Mm -hmm. I was impressed when you came in the converse and bought those ERX two sixties. Love them. They're right behind me. <laughs> I was impressed. I was impressed when you got them. I was like, right. and I got them. Like, what I get them for? Uh, twenty nine ninety eight. Yep. Twenty nine ninety eight. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was impressed with that. You know, um, 
the light skinned dude that be with you, you know what I'm saying? Like he'll come in sometimes. You know my brother. That's my brother. That's your brother. Okay. I I know. That's my brother. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my brother. Yeah, you know, he he's he slid through a few times, I think, since, you know. And I know y'all was in the video together when y'all went to the thing. Oh, that's yep, that's my partner. Yeah. yeah, that's my partner. Yeah. That, that's my partner. My partner in crime, literally, since day one. But yeah. Nice. Which one yeah, of like, huh? Which one of y'all is older? He is. Okay. He's four years older. But yeah, what, why were you impressed about those? Because people don't don't rock with them. Nah, man, nobody ever. You know, I mean, we don't really have them in men's sizes. I think we got like right now we might have like one size ten. Usually we get them in real small sizes, like your size. And nobody. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I was saying, I don't know if we still do, but I had a bunch of these in like four and a half, five, sixes, whatever, and yeah, nobody. Five. I'm definitely getting it. All right. Yeah. Nobody. Nobody wanted them. You know what I mean? So that's interesting. Everybody just. Wanted Else, man, is everybody basic? I guess, yeah, I guess it, that's that's yeah, I'm different. I, I, I like and the price they were $29.98. How would I not buy those? Yeah, nah, I'm gonna look and see. I said, when I get to the so I'm supposed to be there at nine, um, I believe I'm opening with another manager, so I won't have to do as much. So I can really just kind of look through and see if I see anything good in the the men's five slash women's seven for mm -hmm. it was popping, you know. For sure, for sure, yeah. Uh, I'm excited. The run star hike at all or no? Nah, I can't. I can't rock with it. Okay. I, now that's one thing that I never got into was like the chunky platform. Never, never got into it. Uh, yeah, nah. Gotcha. gotcha. I don't. I don't own any like that platform, chunky, super, super chunky, or anything like that. I just not my stilo. At all, they look dope. I see a lot of people really rocking them, and they look really cute. Um, and even when you wear them, um, but I just, I don't know. Oh, dude! I think I tried on a pair in the store. I just, they just don't. They're not me. I don't know. Oh, black dudes are coming to the store with their wives. We thinking, okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, look at this, look at this man with these doggone women's shoes on. You know. <laughs> Well, I wear some pink chucks and some chucks like the, the, I wore the chucks with the hearts all over, but niggas was looking at me like, really? you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. you know, like, but I and see that's what I admire about you is that you don't give a, excuse my French, you don't give a fuck, like, you don't care. And that's why I like that's what drew me to you, other than your deep, vast collection. Because let's go ahead and put this out there you have the biggest, deepest, vastest collection, like people that I know personally. You have the biggest one. Like, you have the best collection I've ever seen. Um, and I haven't even seen all of it. I've just seen snippets of it, you know, from what you post or going live and talking about shoes and stuff with you. But hands down. And and, and most of it's because I respect that you have a lot of OG pairs and the amount of shoes that you have. You know the history behind them. Some of them, have, a lot of them have sentimental value. Like, that's what I admire. Like, to me, that's a collection. Like, I admire that. There are so many people that have a lot of hype sneakers, but I'm not impressed by hype sneakers. So let me give you your flowers now. You have the best collection, hands down, I've ever seen in my 35 years of living that I know personally. Now, people I see, you know, on YouTube and stuff, but personally, hands down. I'm like, wow. I, I'm really honored. I don't even really know what to say, man. Thank you. That means a lot coming from you, man. I, I, I definitely, um, Thank you, you know, but yeah, you like I, you. He's one of the goat. You are. You're like your goat status. Like that's, like I said, you got shoes older than people to be watching your lives. <laughs> like, like to me, that's and the fact that you don't care what people think. You just like you love sneakers, and it's genuine, and that's dope to me. I, I like I like people that just love sneakers because I I'm. I'm the same. So when you find somebody that genuinely loves sneakers and it's not about the hype, um, that's what I really admire. Um, one of the best compliments I got from somebody that I know was, it was from a guy. He was like, you have one of the best collections I've seen, male or female. And it's not because of how many or the hype. It's because it's you. Like, it's authentically you. It's just you. It's what you like. It's how you wear it. It's your collection, and that was like, okay, that's that's what I'm going for. Like, my I don't want my collection to look exactly like somebody else's. Like, I might have pairs that people have, but 
it's those pairs that you can pull out. Like when you said British Knights, I don't know if you realized that I was like, because <laughs> I haven't had, I used to have a pair and I think my mom threw them away and I want to get them back. But it's just like hearing that, it's just like, people don't know about British Knights. I think they're dope and I got to get a pair back. And then when you wear them, people are like, oh my God, I ain't seen them in forever. Where you find them at? And it's like, I don't know. Yeah, she found him at a game. It was some uh, Derek Coleman's. You know, he was a basketball player in the 90s. He used to have a British night shoe. But, yeah, I, I really appreciate all that. That means so much coming from you. You know, people in the comments, I appreciate y'all as well. I know y'all personally. But, you know, you and I have only known each other maybe a year, you know, on the Instagram. You know, Yeah, yeah. really means a lot, you know, coming from yeah. Uh, I was like, I had to make sure I tell, like, make sure you tell him that, because I literally was just telling somebody that. I was like, I'm I'm honored to do that you asked me to do this, because my collection compared to your collection, let's see. it's baby. It's baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you, you're one of the best females doing this. I mean, it's a lot. Thank you. Really, like, you you do it, because again, like 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 you said about me, it's, it's really you. You ain't on the internet, you know, like a lot of females just be, be showing, you know, themselves, trying to, you know, to be further themselves. It's like, I'm going to show these concords, but I'm going to be, you know what I mean? Right be? here. Yeah. <laughs> on my titties. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put this bikini on. Exactly. With these shattered backboards. It's like, that's not, you know, I can and, wear those. And you, you could, but that's not. I could. That's not. I, I definitely could. I could, but I don't. I could. Like, I know if you ever do that, it's, it's some sort of joke or some sort of you know what i'm saying some other thing behind it spoofing. it's like a spoof <laughs> yeah i you know but um like every every day i'll be like mm, i wonder what you know what i mean i'll be looking for you like well, what was she gonna come with today you know? yeah and it's, it sucks because i can't wear as much because i'm usually in workout clothes so it's like i still have sneakers on but it's not like you know See, and i'm still matching but that that's exactly how I feel a lot of days with the Converse, you know, because I know I have to wear them, and I've kind of tried to incorporate myself into them and just, you know. But I don't always, I shouldn't say this, but I don't always feel like wearing them. I have to really. I bet I can understand. I I would hate being boxed in to have to wear a particular brand every day. I would hate that. Like I would absolutely hate that because I like mixing it up and. I like going off of how I feel. And some days it's Adidas. Some days it's Nike. Some days it's Saucony. Some days it's Reebok. Some days it just depends. Like, it really depends. And this post 40 Chris Weathers, I'm too lazy to change my clothes. Like, I used to, <laughs> even at Foot Locker, like two years ago when I was managing Foot Locker, I, I would, I would be like the players. I would show up, you know, walk, mm -hmm. have my, Shoes in my head, my regular clothes. Mm -hmm. I would go and put on my Foot Locker uniform or whatever, but or I did that with Hibbit too. But I just, I don't, I don't care like, to do that now. It's like, yeah, just I'm wearing it. That's doing the most. Like, so, doing the I'm gonna see how it works since I'm gonna try to do it this week because I just want to wear these Christmas shoes and post them. I was I just gonna, do it, but you know, I'm gonna just try it. But you I'm can tell do it you, for I'm, a week. I'm going to text you like, man, I can't even do this, man. <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you can do so. it for a week. You can do it for a week. That's not too bad. You can do it for a week. You can do it. You can do it. Because you got to get them Christmas shoes off. You got to get them off. Yeah. It's like you, I mean, you can't wear them any other time. Yeah. Fortunately, today, tomorrow and the day after, I only work until 2. So it's like I still kind of have the rest of the day. You know? Oh, yeah. That's easy. Because oh. you can just change when you get on and yeah. take your pictures. So I can see what you got on. <laughs> yeah. Well, I already got an idea for them blazers. I can't wait to wear those. I uh, see. Now I gotta, you know, what I'm saying I, I really gotta put something together with them now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not that we compete, but you know, it's it's. I, I, I know, you know, you are gonna come with something crazy. So I try. Hopefully, I ho I tell people like with the outfits. Of course, it's you. Same thing when you know you putting your outfits together. But hopefully, I hope it inspires people to be confident. You know, <laughs> like when I put something on, it's because I like it and I think it looks good. Um, but it's the confidence. Like, I tell people that all the time. It's just how you wear it, your confidence, and, you know, how you put it together. I mean, and sometimes you fail, you flop, you just change. But it's like, that ain't it. That ain't hitting. It ain't didn't go like I thought in my brain. But And I just make some changes. But it's really confidence. Like, the biggest thing 
with the sneaker game. And I think, and the reason why I'm drawn to certain people is because of the authenticity in how they wear their shoes and how they buy their shoes, like what shoes they buy. And like I said, we all have hype in our collection, but it's the genuine, like, I just like this shoe because I like it. Like, period. Yeah. Like, we're, we're not going to do this on online, but, you know, I'm going to text you. You know, I got to ask you who you feel like is real and who isn't. Because, you know, we both okay. aren't. But gotcha. I'm going to close it off right now by thanking you so much. <laughs> Keandre, you're one of my favorites in this game. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, hopefully I'll get to see you, you know, tomorrow uh, at the store. Yeah. I'm going to try yeah. to make it out there for sure, for sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can... Uh, pull some cool shit to the side, you know, and um, we'll do it like that. Happy hunting. For sure. Let's see what we find this next month. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll see y'all next <laughs> Thank you for everybody. All right. Yeah, have a good night. All right. Peace. All right.